Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Xiao Talk Show. Today is September seventeenth, two thousand nineteen, Tuesday, two o'clock p.m. San Francisco time. Let me get the chat ready. So, guys, pick a topic. Let's see who else.、Uh, if we are here, we are live. And the、uh, live dashboard. <clears throat> okay, so no one is here yet. I'm just going to start with a random topic then. And let's turn on the video. Okay. So, some talk show.、Uh, okay. So, what what is today's topic? I don't know. Okay. Let's um. Let's let's see let's see what's in my blog. So yesterday we did talk. We did a talk about Emacs. Yesterday is mostly Emacs and Emacs Lisp related. Okay, it's about cheap webcam, Unicode brackets. What are good keyboard key binding choices for Emacs, and live coding of Emacs Lisp, writing a command that converts English letters to Braille.、Uh, so we did that yesterday, and uh, 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 what is today's topic? So. Let me get this up here. So, come.、Uh, so that's yesterday. So, what what is today? I don't know. Okay. So let's see what are the topics.、Uh, what are some of the topic? So we can do. So write a English to Braille. We did that. English to Braille.、Um, JavaScript write English to Braille converter. Okay. I I demonstrated that yesterday. I did a demo. Actually, I. That is already written JavaScript. We can explain JavaScript what's, or we can do JavaScript OOP, JavaScript object, and JavaScript OOP in depth. We did that three days ago,、uh, but however, that's a big topic, so we can continue on that on some of the practical issues.、Uh, and some other topics. So if you are Here, you know,、uh, look at the, look at the description and pick pick a topic. Okay, so let's let's see, let's go to. Let's see, let's、uh, pick a random topic. So, keyboard department, we talked about that. What webcam to get yesterday, and we we talked about that, or that before. And for programming section,、uh, genre Lanier. I'm not sure how do you pronounce that, but he is a he's a somewhat popular guy in programming community. He is kind of a weird guy, like Richard Stallman, and he is one of the big person who who is against、uh, against Facebook against. Uh, Wikipedia against the mob mentality and against the mob intelligence. You know, like among the among you know, like there is the idea that Wikipedia is so successful because the power came from the population, all the people in the population that made it so successful. Uh, but he, so his opinion is a bit different, and he's again is that you know Wikipedia, for example, they they do not、uh, respect or they do not、uh, give much credit to authority or credentials. For example, if you are a professor, they don't care. If you are an expert in some subject, they don't care. Wikipedia is such that they 
you know they don't care all about about that about you know expertise rather they just they uh they kind of want to focus on their their philosophy is that they they want to focus that um you know any, anyone can make contribution and uh and eventually it'll be good the 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 you see the issue i mean t it, it, wikipedia is indeed very su successful and uh, much of the technical content the any article on wikipedia that is focused on uh academia stuff such as math physics and programming languages those are very good but however i mean it's super very good uh it's almost better than anything else even better than professional written books for example of math uh, in many cases but wikipedia so anyway wikipedia is so successful so basically wikipedia do not uh focus on uh professionals or expertise they do, they do not respect it so anyway so so anyways let me summarize let me finish about the Jaron Lanier so he's a very interesting guy and he's against those ideas and in some cases he's also against uh, open source uh, he gave many ideas and he has written many books for example on Amazon if you go to um, you know if you just search his name you'll find a lot articles about him and interviews apparently he's a old like he's a old pioneer for virtual reality I didn't know anything about him until like five years ago I heard on uh, Google Plus then I started to now and then I hear his name so he has written many books uh, for example 10 arguments for deleting your social media accounts right now okay that one oh that one is new 2019 uh and he's actually he looks almost like just like uh richard Solomon, the same kind of build you know with with a beard and uh, with a part belly so he has also written dawn of the new everything encounters with reality and virtual reality oh this is 2018. so anyway so he has written a few books and uh, if you search online you'll find many articles about him and many of his ideas I kind of agree but however he, he you, you see he, he's against this kind of a digi digitalization you know so he calls it digital Maoism for example one of his ideas is that he's against the MIDI technology <laughs> so good morning Israel good morning milk Mel, cat uh, Israel says my beards is better than RMS <laughs> you know uh, so you know IMS he's got news he's over over the news I like to talk about it but maybe not because you know that is a very taboo topic you talk about it and pretty soon the conversation will go all over the place then the next thing you know you're gonna be banned on Google uh, by Google on YouTube you know so uh, because it's very touchy you know you know it's a uh, I watched I, I I watched your video a uh, part of it because I don't have I just woke up I I watched half half of it you know but I I think we pretty much agree uh, Israel um on on this incident Richard Stroman anyway I, I, let's not talk about that because pretty because then like pretty soon you know all the people watching all kind of ideas will fly opinions or even arguments among, <laughs> among yourself then that's gonna be you know that's gonna get into places that Google is gonna ban then then this video is wasted you know then <laughs> then I have to either delete it afterwards or you know or uh, you know or I get banned so I don't I'm not sure I want to do that yet uh, yeah so don't 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 talk about that okay don't mention the the guy's name because you know he because he's he is he, this is a big thing that guy is a big you know billions 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 of billions air uh you know he's connected to all the power in the world you know and yeah let's let's not talk about that that's that's very 
problem. I mean, e even among my followers, I you know, uh, there are some people who disagree. Uh, yeah, but uh, like yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about that because pretty soon you 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 get into places. Uh, then it's gonna be like, yeah, it's um, lots of assumptions and stuff. So let's let's let let's talk about this guy. Okay, okay. Um, Jaron, Jaron Lanier. Anyway, he's uh, interesting. Okay, one one of his idea is that MIDI. Okay, he's against MIDI. You know, MIDI is a tech you know, is a kind of a file format for trans trans for recording music musical notes like musical instruments notes piano, uh, you know it's notes. So MIDI is a file format. Basically, it records which notes are being played, which notes are being held down, and how long they are being held down. Uh, and what instrument is it is things like that. So it's very, uh, it's very compact. It's you know, for example, uh, if you play a piano piece, five minutes song, you know, or pop song, that's like four megabytes. You know, if you uh, MP MP3 it, five megabytes. But in MIDI, it's something like five kilobytes because they only records the notes. They don't record the actual uh, sound. They just record the notes. So when you play bad, play back using a uh, MIDI compatible instrument. There are a lot on on Amazon, you know, piano or, or others. So you can plug it in, and you can play the file. So what will happen is that the the MIDI, the digital piano will just read the notes. You know how long it lasts, and uh, you know things like that, and it, it will play the th whole thing. The sound came from the the keyboard itself, the synthesizer. So that's MIDI, and then once you have MIDI, then you you started to have drum machines. Like today, you have all sort of like drum music. It's, they are almost automatic. Like you can create songs easily, especially drum beats. You know, different drum beats, <coughs> like dance dance songs. So that's MIDI. But anyway, Jaron Lanier, he's also a musician, by the way. So and he's in, interested in this weird. You know, uh, musical instruments from different countries that you've never seen before. <laughs> you know, some some strange flute or some strange string instrument. You know, he's into that. And one of his idea is that he's against MIDI. You know, I that to me that's silly because, by in his opinion, when you have MIDI, everything is digital, uh, quantified. You know, dig digitalized and quantified, meaning it becomes a number. So according to him, if I understand correctly, I, I'm, 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 maybe I got it wrong. But according to him, he says that MIDI is no good because because then every piece of music is gonna be the same. Like sing, all all the music we have is similar. That's his opinion because you know because you have to encode the music into the quantified you know numbers, just a bunch of numbers, and they are not. Uh, I think according to him, they are not. They do not express the actual full extent of music. I think that's what he is saying. You know, because once you quantify, then it's just these patterns. You know, these same patterns. I don't. I don't think I agree. But you know, anyway, that's one of his interesting ideas. So you can watch interviews of him on YouTube. Like I think he did tech. TED talk and uh, interview somewhere else like lectures, uh, invited lectures. So interesting guy though. Uh, what you know, one thing I agree with him is that the 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 mob mob mentality, like Wikipedia, you know, like you know, so like so what happens with Wikipedia is today is that you know Wikipedia and Facebook and Twitter and all these. You know, they, they they only have like a, a five people, one people or five people. They got rich. They got super rich. You know, like the the, the Facebook Mark Zuckerberg, or Wikipedia, the Jimmy Whale guy. Wikipedia. Okay. The idea of Wikipedia is not really his idea. It's just the right time. You know, this is back in two thousand two. Jimmy Whale. Uh well he 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 and another guy started Wikipedia that's another story okay there's controversies but anyway Jimmy Whale he was doing porn 
you know he was doing punk websites then you know he tries to hide it now but anyway so he started wikipedia because he think you know uh it's a great idea where all people you know amass information but actually that guy jimmy whale i think he's not a good person okay every time he give a talk he makes six digit income like a one talk one talk uh he's got you know let's say hundred thousand dollars one talk that's more than what i make in 10 years in 20, in 20 years but anyway jimmy whale but he you know he he was doing porn sites and but now but he tries to hide it that's the thing i know you know in my opinion there's nothing wrong with porn sites you know but he tries to hide it that's the thing and also he tries to he kick you know wikipedia started it began the with him and there's another guy who is also very questionable uh he's a very christ i think he's a very christian conservative conservative to the extreme you know so anyway uh, i forgot his name but you you go to wikipedia you, you know you type wikipedia founder so w wikipedia history you'll find it so jimmy whales and another the guy then jimmy whale you know he he tried to you know uh, erase you know his history and he he also kicked out that the other founder so to you know jimmy whale just say oh it's just me i founded wikipedia that's not you know it's on wikipedia you can read about it so anyway so jimmy Huio is this bad person okay it's, this is not um and you know uh wikipedia so what so i think what he he is doing is that he is trying to credit everything to himself and he is the sole guy who makes a lot of money and every year or every two years wikipedia you know they 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 ask you for donation uh let me show you this article okay i think it's almost like a scam so i do not recommend donating to wikipedia so this is their chart of donation to wikipedia so in 2007 you know i i donated back in 2006 or so uh, or maybe earlier 2003 2004 something like that I donated like two dollars. Um, why? Why just two dollars? Because because I kind of believe like everyone do something small, which is good. Kind of like the idea of Wikipedia. <clears throat> but anyway, back then in two thousand four, you know they are pretty small Wikipedia, and they, you know, they have server problems. Like you go to Wikipedia, that doesn't show up one minute and shows up the next minute. So they got server crisis. It's, you know so so i donated two dollars back then and wikipedia is fantastic to me because i'm the type who we who just read wiki uh encyclopedias every day you know i just keep reading encyclopedia every day and you know since since 1990s you know you go to library reading encyclopedia i read in you know britannica which is the the encyclopedia the biggest you know britannica i've also read uh Amer americana you know the Gu gorillas uh americana illustrated encyclo I, I, encyclopedia i read a lot in fact i have a lot of articles about encyclopedias uh somewhere not here not linked here but anyway back to wikipedia okay so i'm saying jimmy whale is is a uh, very is not is a uh, uh, morally uh g bad guy you know so anyway here's a donation chart of wikipedia and the actual spending you can you know so what i want to say is that i think you know, you know the jimmy whale he's just taking a lot of money he's actually become very you know he's very rich you know like a millionaire for sure you know he's one of the very rich guy and the wikipedia all the people who contributed to wikipedia you get nothing you get nothing you know wikipedia is so successful but all the people who contributed you you don't you don't get nothing same thing same thing with facebook twitter you know all these uh uh huge corporations they you know they and also google you know in, in many ways that's a long story okay so anyway so these companies you know they typically only just a few people they become super super rich and while all of us we do things 
we don't get nothing you know because and in fact we become poor and poor because you see you as you know if you know statistics you know they say the the gap between wealthy and poor is getting larger and larger you know like they say top one top 10 percent uh owns you know 70 80 percent of the rest you know wealth in in usa at least something like that so anyway i do not recommend donating to wikipedia okay so anyway back to the point of of jaron lanier i mean so basically he, he's saying is that this this is what happens you know all the people you could you, you are actually the creators in the case of Wikipedia, uh, the all the good things on Wikipedia, they are actually mostly majority of the good information on Wikipedia. They are actually just copy paste from from the internet. Okay, that's what they do. You know, you got a bunch of people who are the Wikipedia editors. Typically, they are just students. Okay, they got nothing to do, and they they tend also to be yeah the millennial generation they they are mean and they don't have you know they don't they don't have any moral uh character qualities they they just mean and do things to get power so anyway if you use wikipedia long enough you edit articles you know you become an editor so called editor <coughs> uh and you and these people tends to be, you know, they, they just hawk there, you know, it's like Stack Overflow too. On, on any of these social media, you tend to have, you, you, can, you tend to create like a, a small group of people who are just sitting there and watch everything and they control and they, they want things to go their way, like their, their ideas. They don't really, you know, on the, on the surface, they, they have like um, rules, you know, what should go where. But actually, it's just, you know, these people, typically, they don't do anything every day. You know, they just hog on Wikipedia or Stack Overflow. They control the information. They control how things should be. And and uh, a lot of it is copy and paste. Re rewarding, you know. Technically, Wikipedia do not allow you to just copy and paste. In some cases, you can. Then they say you have to give a reference citation. But one, but even if you do that, like twenty years ago, Wikipedia cited a lot of my stuff. But then eventually, the citation citation is gone. Well, because what happens is because, for example, I have some great information I saw from another website. So I rewarded, you know, I, I put it on Wikipedia article. I rewarded and I put a citation. But tomorrow, some someone else gonna edit it. You know, and eventually, eventually, soon, you know, after a year or two, the article will have nothing. The you know, you see, the main content is still there, but but however, the writing has nothing to do with the citation anymore. Then you just remove the citation, you know, as appropriate because you when you look at Wikipedia some article and you see, oh, th this has nothing to do with the citation, you just remove it. So that's in a sense that's kind of like stealing not exactly i mean that's that's kind you know that's just the way they are i mean on the surface they say oh citation copyright you you know you but what the end result is basically wikipedia is just basically you grab all the information from other people on a website you know bloggers you know for example i, I write a lot you you know you you just copy it and put on re, re, reward it put it on Wikipedia that becomes Wikipedia and uh, and uh, who gets who gets money you know this one guy basically one guy Jimmy Wales he becomes you know super rich and he's going you know he's going around so he's going around you know giving lectures in this in you know Stanford University or these big universities and he's gonna say oh I created Wikipedia you know my vision is for you know all the information that that's all bullshit you know that's that just uh, his tactics so he becomes richer and richer and no, there's nothing you t you can do it, this is almost like a open source uh, ideology because when you have opinion like my opinion i'm against donating to wikipedia but a lot of your friends will not agree because they are in their mind 
they think that Wikipedia is so great because it's all the information, right? But actually, that's not, you know, if Wikipedia died today, suppose if Wikipedia, you know, ran out of money or something, they are not running out of money. They have a lot of money in, in Jimmy Whale, Whale's pocket. But suppose they run out of money, they bankrupt, you know, they suppose Wikipedia went down today. I guarantee you within a year, there will be other encyclopedias that's equivalent. I mean, the content is just as good as Wikipedia, you know, because, you know, time is constantly changing. Wikipedia began 20 years ago, 20 years ago, the idea of, of population contribution to one project that's that's new you know so Wikipedia became successful but today you know today if Wikipedia died another one as just as good will pop up right away maybe supported by ads uh, you know or otherwise so you know I do not believe that Wikipedia is this unique resource first of all they are basically copy of you know everyone everyone else so anyway that's that's kind of the uh, Jean-Ran Lanier's idea about uh, Wikipedia so actually so I think that's about that guy let me read the comments and uh, so I've been talking for quite long without reading the comments maybe some of you already left uh let's see 26 minutes okay so let me read the comments from the top good morning kathy uh mail cats today topic is richard stallman <laughs> okay uh, give people what they want throw them the bread i love uh, bread uh how to review mail cat uh what's up noodles good morning noodles mail cat uh my but hairs. No, that's good. <laughs> keep keep talking, Melcat. Uh, you should maximize your profit. No. Hey, what did uh, did they block my comment? Yes, they did. You know we. You know as I as I said this many times, YouTube, and all this media because because social justice, the trend. You know I, uh, they they block everything now because you see this comment. Mailcat, check out my video if Sally is a coward. You know, I guess they blocked it because you have the word coward. That's, that's you know, that's incredible. You shouldn't be blocked. Um, and YouTube is doing that. YouTube, you know, anyway, so that's, um, uh, okay, yeah, so Israel gotta go. I, uh, um, <laughs> it's too late now. I also have to sleep. Okay, Melcat. Melcat says the codification of sounds through MIDI has certain advantages. A song can be broken up into segments where each segment can be played or accentuated differently. Uh, yeah. Atesh. Good morning, Atesh. So, did you know what happened with Stolman? Yeah, we were t talking about that, but I'm thinking uh, let's not talk about that because that, I mean, you are in Chile, right? So the what Stallman that you know the the subject matter is a major major taboo in USA. When if you talk about that, all sorts of problems uh, rise up. Uh, okay, so Melcat says I've seen video games uh, given allegro to certain parts of soundtrack soundtrack depending on the context in the game. If you were in combat, you would give more intensity. Oh, uh, allegro means louder. Uh, I forgot. Alleg allegro means louder, right? That's a music jargon. You know? <laughs> so let's refer him as uh, Shinnut's Richard Stallman. So, oh, Kathy. So Kathy, if you haven't heard, well, okay. So I, maybe I shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> so Kathy just. Uh, just look up, okay. Yeah, Kathy, Kathy, you are in China, so uh, this is, you know, this is more kind of a U.S. thing. Um, basically, Richard Stallman quit MIT, and he also quit. He 
uh, resigned from being a Free Software Foundation president as well, because because there are some people who there are some activists, you know, who who don't uh, who want to who who don't want who don't like him. Basically, that's my opinion. Yeah, so I'm uh, surprised how powerful that person can be. So, you know, back to the question, I'm thinking, you know, I keep thinking, in, you know, in the past few years, if today's society is better than, let's say, 1990s, uh, I, you know, and I keep thinking about that in the past four years, and the answer is, I don't know. I mean, I, I couldn't possibly say it's better or it's worse. I just, like, don't know. It's, um, you know, I, I feel it's worse because because today's generation um today's people they don't have they, they don't have moral characters i mean it's, it's kind of more it's 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 well represented by the four chan phrase no you <laughs> okay <laughs> you know the four chan you know one of the chan means is you know, the gamma let's not say four chan the gamma means is no you <laughs> okay it's it's usually written like that. Okay, let's, let's search for the web. Let me show you the meme. Now, if you are in USA, you 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 probably know. I mean, if you are younger, then you know uh, what it means. So yeah, so this is so this is like that. You know, they they use these kind of means. Uh, so like when you are on Twitter or anywhere anywhere else in game, you know. When when you start to have some kind of argument, or then you just say no, you that's that's a direct response, you know. So I feel that today's people, today's younger people, are all like that because they don't have, you know, life is independent. You know, like I don't depend on you, you don't depend on me, so I don't care about you, really. I mean, in practice, that's what really happens. Like. You know, you don't care about your neighbors. You don't care about any anyone else. You only care is your boss and your coworkers. Those people, you know, you care a little bit. You know, because you, if you if you are offensive to your boss, you get fired. Then you don't have money to eat, right? But otherwise, any anyone else, you know, you don't like. You, there is no need to care about anyone else. So when you read news, oh, someone died, someone you know got sick, you don't really care. I mean, you you can you know any anything they say that you disagree, you you, you just shot back, you know, you just shot back. No, you, you know, it's like that. You know, you don't even bother giving reasons or or explanation of your opinion anymore because because ultimately that doesn't matter. All you care is that no, fuck you, you are wrong. I, I'm right, okay. <laughs> you don't know, like you. You don't need to. Re I mean, forget forget about even reasoning. That, that doesn't matter. You know, you just say what you like. You know, you can say whatever, whenever. You know, whatever. That that just doesn't make sense. You can do it. That's your life. That's becomes that becomes everyday life because you don't have to care. You know, you don't care about nothing. The government, you know, the big government or Google, you know, they're doing bad things. Nothing you can do. You know, years after years, after ten years, you realized th there's really nothing you can do. You know, every time you criticize Google, Google has you know all these big companies or politicians. They have you. Ha they have bots. You know, they have like million million bots on Twitter. You know, they algorithmically controlled. You know, so 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 you, if you go to Twitter, a lot of people. You know, they saying things. Actually, a lot of of them are not actually real persons then you have people you know for example I'm Google I pay you you know I pay 10,000 people to post things that you know that says good things for me you know <laughs> that says good things about me I pay them cheaply you know let's say five dollars an hour so I, 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 I can because I'm rich I'm Google you know so you pay you do that so on Twitter or, or in, in you know so you have all these kind of thing going on so today, for example, I complain about Google. There's nothing I can do, and this has been for the past twenty years. I think it's getting worse because once you say something, for example, about you know uh, anything, any anyway, you, you say something, then.
there's nothing you can do. There's not, nothing you cannot. I mean, then even your friends have opinions. You know, they they start to say no you because they don't agree with you. Why? Because a, a lot of them because Google has this massive TV, YouTube. Uh, you know, they control the information media. You know, all the companies they spend you know billions to put ads. You know, that's American capitalism. You know, freedom. You know, they have ads that kind of shape your thoughts. So, so there's nothing you can do. The only thing you can do. So, so after ten years of this, you become this person that you know you you can care about nothing. However, there's still one thing you can do. That is, be angry and be mean. For example, if you see, for example, someone sees me. Okay, he sees my opinion. He doesn't like my opinion. Then he can. He can start to make a、uh, Twitter post or something. Then th that is blown out of proportions, like no reason. He just say, "Oh, I, I, I'm, 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 you know, the, all these bad words, you know, this, 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 you know, anger." Then that gets other people, you know, get anger. They don't look into why or what really happens. They don't care. It's just that something, you know, someone is really bad. He did this. Then everyone is like repeating that. You know that, so they, you know, these idiots, this、uh, millennial generation, they, they, they have like jargons. They call this cancel culture. You know what the fuck, cancel culture? <laughs> they call it cancel culture. Okay, so that's what's happening. You know, that's so people. You know, so from what I see, these people today, it's like they. You know, like you can see them. They are so, they are pretty mean. You know, you know, they don't really. They are so hateful. Like like they don't really care. I mean, on the surface, they they seems to be all this all caring person. But you look at their behaviors, and they they are just like mean. Uh, very bad person. So so I'm thinking. You know, is today's world better than twenty years ago? Statistically. Everything seems to be better because we have, I think we have less war, we have less,、um, you know, murder. We have less. Every everyone is more wealthy. I mean, you know, less poor, less people in poverty, all around the globe.、Uh, so statistically, I think we are better than twenty years ago in nineteen than nineteen nineties. But on the other hand. I I I very much doubt we are actually better. You could part, you know, it's possible that the world is getting worse. Any time, you know, things something may break up. And I'm also worried. I'm also worried that USA and pretty much all the white people nations, USA, Canada, Australia, UK,、uh, Germany, the white nations, they are collapsing. You know they are basically they are going down.、Uh, I kind of worry about that as well because、uh, you know because because I'm an American citizen. You know for you know I, I care about Chinese because I'm Chinese blood, but also I'm American. You know I lived here thirty years, so that's about that. So maybe that's that's it <laughs> about today's topic.、Uh, Let's see. So, oh, so we got eleven people watching. So what else, guys? Post, post、uh, questions. I mean, post, yeah, questions, opinions. Okay. Jamie, uh, Jamie Commerce, you like noodles or rice more? Uh, that's hard to say. I think probably noodles. Actually, let me, yeah, okay, let me talk about that. So rice, what white? I I do not like white rice. You know those processed rice. For the same reason, I don't like white bread. I almost never eat white bread. The only bread I I eat is hundred percent whole wheat or some kind of you know grain seven grain bread. Actually, yeah. Let, let's see. I can show you my bread here. <laughs> So you see, this is my bread. This is,、uh, yeah. So this is kind of like、um, 
hundred percent whole wheat. So I, I always I never ever write, uh, eat white bread since like twenty years ago, since nineteen nineties. I never eat white white bread. And by the way, so here is a tomato juice. So white bread I don't eat, and I eat nuts. I eat a lot of nuts. Or, or uh, this is mixed nuts. You have cashew. You have almonds you have you know uh, some peanuts and no uh, all kind of nuts so I eat mixed nuts a lot throughout my life basically Nut, nuts are good so I tend to eat healthy diet I don't eat white bread because you know those are very bad white bread those are processed you know you have grains they they meal the grains that you know they grind the grains and they remove the they remove the husk they remove the husk, but they also remove anyway. They they remove the rough parts of the grain, so that's how you get white rice and white f f flour. Flour, that's no good. What because uh, uh, many of the nutrients are in the rough parts. So I so I don't eat white bread. Uh, and in general, I don't eat rice neither because I don't cook. Uh, but however, be, but if I do eat rice, it's going to be brown rice or wild rice. Okay, let me show you pictures because pictures is worth a, a thousand words. Brown rice, brown rice or wild rice. Now those are expensive actually in USA. So here is what brown rice look like like that. So. So and I actually like wild rice. Let me show you. Wild rice is more expensive. So it looks like that. This is uncooked wild rice. Now when it's cooked it, it looks like that. It's it's got this uh pretty rough shell. You have to chew a lot. You have to chew like <laughs> for one hour. <laughs> So yeah, so this is cooked wild rice. I eat that. I like that. I don't so I I do not I do not eat white rice. But however, because my roommates they are Chinese working in restaurants since since 5 years ago, I started to work in restaurants <laughs> washing dishes. So I met, you know, these Chinese people who are not uh who didn't go to college, you know, who are just Working in restaurants, so I, I so I, they are my roommates now. Uh, so, f but for most Chinese, they eat wild rice. I mean, they eat white rice. They they eat the processed white rice. That's just convention. Uh, you cannot change that. So they all eat that. So now, since you know, since five years ago, whenever they cook, sometimes we eat together. So I I just eat it white white rice. So, but in general, I don't eat white rice. And in the same way, I do not. I try to avoid any noodle because typical noodle is white noodle, white flour noodle. You don't have, you know. So I don't. Um, so yeah. So that's about. Uh, <laughs> that that's about my 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 opinion about rice and noodles. So between what rice and noodles. I guess I eat noodles more often, but in general, they are you know I I, I don't so, so okay I do eat pasta pasta I eat a lot a lot pasta in my life pasta you know technically you don't call pasta noodles but yeah I eat pasta you know all sort of shapes uh, macaroni and you know because that's uh, better that's good for you uh, so. So let me see. So post, post, okay, post. Then, then, then that's about it for today. Let's see how long I've been talking. Forty-four. Oh, that we have, we have, we have fifteen minutes. We can talk another fifteen minutes or so. She got it. I'm, I'm sour rice. I'm sour rice how powerful that person can be. Yeah. So MIT 
MIT maximize their profit. Yeah, MIT, you know, MIT you used to be, you know, in my impression of MIT, Stanford, Harvard, all these, you know, top universities. So in the 90s, you know, I was thinking of going to a university. Uh, so these universities are great, you know, I, I respect them because they are so famous, you know, and back then I was much younger, right? I was 20 something. So I don't know about politics back then, but all I know is that MIT, Stanford, you know, they are great, uh, you know, colleges. I want to go there. But now, but today, at least today, these colleges, they are just money machines. They, they do all they can to maximize money and they pay, you know, they have administrators, their administration department or the people they get more money than the than the lecture the professors you know so the admin, uh, administrators of universities they become so powerful you know they just they universities has become just like big corporations and they do all they can to maximize money uh, that's basically that's become their number one concern you know uh, that that is why many universities are corrupted and MIT for example uh, I read, you know, it turns out they got money from this guy. Let's not mention the guy, okay? He, he, MIT got money, a lot of money, donation from this rich, super, super rich guy. Uh, that is not disclosed until, until, you know, you know, until the past few days things blow up. Then, oh, you know, MIT did not disclose they they took this amount of money, you know. Yeah. Uh, and he says two faces and sad. So he tried to be a social something despite our eyesight. Jimmy Wales. Jimmy Wales is network is one million. One million is rich enough, man. <laughs> Uh, moderators, yeah, Wikipedia moderators. Uh, sh sh shut up, shut up, Melcats. Don't say those things, okay? Melcat, you are dangerous because every time you, you know you have comments that gets me into trouble. Uh, okay, male cats. Okay, male cats needs to go. G good night, male cat. Hey, man, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Uh, so that's noodles about rice. Ru noodle versus rice. So Jamie, good morning, Jamie. H have not seen you before. Where are you from? So what do you eat? Uh, what do you eat? N noodles or rice or like? Where do you from? What city or what country? Like what? So I, you know, so I know what kind of things you eat. So Peter Head says, "New haircut, ev new haircut, very smart, very cool, very very handsome. I like it. <laughs> that's that's my new haircut. This okay. So you need to see haircut. You need to see the full profile." I used to have long hair like up to my waist uh, almost all my, all my life until I cut it off when I was 45. Yeah, around 40 age, you know, five, about seven, seven years ago, I cut, cut it off. And now I just, when it's long, actually it's now a bit long. I just take a scissor and I just chop it. It's like, uh, it's like dog bites. Uh, nuts, a pair of nuts you would love. <laughs> you got a pair of nuts I would love. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I'm not gay, okay. Uh, do you like green? Yeah, I do. I actually I like broccoli because it's healthy. You know, so my diet is kind of like scientific. 
it tends to be you know because I wanted to be a superman I wanted to be the you know actually so today we let's talk about diet Kasali diet okay I have obsession about diet since I was since I was 20 okay um, I have actually okay one article meal on peel um, okay so yeah diet of Xali so the, here is a picture now this is this is rich food now this photo is taken around I think this one is 2011 or 2010 let's see or oh, 2009 okay so you see broccoli pasta macaroni uh, red beans you know the uh, pinto, pinto beans that's a Mexican beans then broccoli and carrots so my, my diet tends to be healthy you know like like I mentioned before I'm a schizoid personality and uh, I am I'm I am this nerd you know who is who don't care about nothing except kind of science and programming and you know math so you know when I was younger I was thinking I'm going to dive into the computer become me and the computer and then become part of the network you know so I'm very I'm not much of a social person and but also for most of my life I wanted to be a superman superman meaning that you know I'm the, the highest I have the highest intellect I have the I can run the I can run faster than anyone you know do those so-called extreme sports you know I, I used to do those kind of things like I, I put on my rollerblade and I uh, you know hold on to cars and the cars go off so I, 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 I actually did that so I do those kind of things I want to be a superman because you know because I believe I can you know because I want to be better than anyone uh, and so that's 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 my that's kind of me okay my personality so so as far as food goes I my my food choices are basically I would for example I would if there's a peel that provides all the nutrients every day I would just take that peel you know that you know today about five years ago you started to have this soylent okay that's kind of the same idea so this guy this nerd guy who who are thinking okay all the nutrient you need you know he's a chemist I think he's a chemist background so this young guy he think you can create a powder that contains everything you need and you just drink that you know that's it yeah so this is you know this idea is not new of course in science fiction you have a peel basically the ultimate thing is just you know you just take a peel then you don't need to eat the whole day so I was very much into that uh, throughout 1990s and and even 2000s so so before there's Soylent I used to drink Slim Fast or other kind of uh, there are other kind of things similar to slim fast in fact in fact soylent is kind of just like slim fast okay actually you know the only difference difference is that slim fast is market marketed to usually women for losing weight okay that's that's only difference but basically the as far as the uh, content goes you know they all try to be uh, try to be food that contains all the nutrients you need you know and Soylent is kind of uh, new fashionable for nerds you know they they eat Soylent but anyway so I use I, I, I drink lots of these you know in night in slim fast and others and you know the the power bar power bar nutri nutrition bar like and also if you work out in a gym if you are a bodybuilder you have lots of that like protein powders let's go to Amazon okay you'll see all kind of things and I used to eat them protein bar protein powder okay and I also used to read lots of these bodybuilding magazines you know I, I'm not into bodybuilding but rather I'm into other you know 
because bodybuilding is interesting. Bodybuilding, you know, you see those people with the bulky muscles. Actually, I need to work out. No, I'm getting old. Do you want to see me naked? I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to start a schedule. So by next month, I'll have muscles. I'll start, you know, I'm going to start to do push up and stuff. I've been, get, you know, I'm getting old. I haven't been active. You know, so most of my life, I'm very active. I mean, to the degree I'm to the level of competitive athlete. So usually, you know, you, you are unfit, you are fit, you are athletic, or you are competitive athlete, like professional athlete. So I, all my life, I used to be until until I was 40. OK, I, I kind I'm kind of the competitive athlete uh, uh, body because I want to be that that's you know that's what I want to do so I you know but anyway back to bodybuilding bodybuilding is interesting you know bodybuilding you know you you see those people with lots of muscles but that's the only thing you see that's only the only thing bodybuilding is good for physically is that you look you have a lot of muscles but actually you are not strong you are not faster you are you are not nothing except you 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 look with you know you look you look kind of good actually bodybuilding they don't look good you know because they are too they are freak they become freak but anyway the only purpose of bodybuilding is to grow muscles nothing else it does not mean you are stronger or nothing uh you know you are you are good at nothing you you are not good at lifting you are not good at any, anything the only thing you are good is you look you know bulky so that's that's bodybuilding it, you know sports science is very interesting especially today they are very you have a lot of science so depending on what you want to do you want to be a good swimmer you want to be a fast you know power runner like 100 meters you want to be a best mar marathon runner or you want to be the best one kilometer runner all of them or, or cyclist or whatever you they require a different kind of training so you have like like, like very specific training to make you uh, very good in this particular thing you know so this you know so it's not so good swimmers good swimmer will be very bad extremely bad at running or other things or, or power lifting if you do power lifting that's the only thing you are good for you know you just lift you know 300 kilograms or something power lifting that's the only thing you are good for you are good for nothing and in fact so so modern sports you know they become very very um specialized and 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 uh, and typically, that's not what I want. You, you know, I, I, I think maybe a, a, uh, it's good for your. Uh, uh, my recommendation is that I would prefer to be uh, gen, gen, generic. You know, very good, but general purpose, like basically like a soldier. Okay, soldier or special agent in James Bond. 007 you know 007 movie that's all show okay <laughs> you know you have this old guy who doing things that's kind of like a show but basically you want to be you know you you can run very fast you can swim very fast you can cycle you can do you can lift pretty good you know you, you want to be that kind of general that's good that's good for you not not become so specialized into uh, one sport so anyway, that's about so 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 about this food. You know, I used to, uh, I used to take some of these pills like protein or vitamins. You know, uh, and you know, these kind of things are athletes they are into. You know, and I also read a lot. You know, uh, uh, bodybuilding those kind of magazines. So in those magazines, they they talk about this every day, and they show you. You know, they show you food, broccoli, you know, broccoli and nuts, you know, nice, nice professional photography of, you know, nice food of all the veggies. They show you that every day. So back to my diet. So my, I, I'm kind of very, you know, nerdy scientific person. So when it took, comes to diet, I don't care about taste. You know, actually, I, I love delicious food. I, you know, if I go to a restaurant, I love any of those greasy or Chinese food or I love them 
<laughs> almost any kind of dish Indian uh, American hamburgers or or whatever or pizza or Chinese food you know fried rice or whatever I love them I enjoy the taste but however ideally I'm thinking you know I'm thinking that I want to be someone who do not care like the case the taste of some food does not matter to me at all so I can so in fact I do eat you know just um, uh, oatmeal for example have you seen the matrix the movie matrix oatmeal you know the movie matrix the first uh, movie in 1999 or so they you, you see a bunch of guy they eat this porridge so you buy this oatmeal, you just pour hot water or you cook it, then you just eat it. <laughs> There's no taste. You know, I do that. I do that. You, so in a sense, I'm kind of like a monk. Okay, so I do that because I eat it. There's no taste. But however, I have this mentality that this is, you know, I, even it doesn't taste good, but I want to force myself like, like this is the thing. This is the thing I want to do. You know, like 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 Emacs, okay. <laughs> you know, I want I want to get good at this. So 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 oatmeal. I I've been eating oatmeal. I don't have it. I haven't done that now. But oatmeal, you, I've been eating this diet for like uh, several years, for five years. Uh, especially when you are poor, this is good. Especially if you don't have money, and this is very nutritious. So instead of eating rice or anything, or you know white bread, you just just oatmeal you know this is what horse horse and goats and pigs eat too you know be like them eat eat oatmeal they are good for you just just raw oatmeal hot water just eat it eat it you know every day and so I so I can't so my mentality you know I so if it doesn't taste good I want to keep doing it I want to train I want to become like I want to force myself into this this machine like a uh, person like Mr. Data I'm always I'm already like that because I'm a schizoid you know it, there's nothing except logic so if it's this good this if this is good for you I just do it if that is good for you I just do it you know I I, I used to think human are like a machine you know you just you can follow logic and do whatever you want and become whatever you want that's actually not the case because the human brain you have emotions you have lots of things that's out of your control and uh, especially for example if you have dramatic uh, you have uh, post-traumatic syndrome you know what they call you know like uh, then then it, it changes your brain in a way that it affects you you know you when you when it comes to some some subject you are unable to uh, you, I mean uh, you are unable to function or you will you will fall apart things like that that's post-traumatic syndrome so so this is this is uh, this contradicts my younger self idea that human animals is just a machine like you can train yourself to be whatever that's not true okay that's uh, that's not true so anyway, that's so that's that's kind of my thoughts about uh, diet and uh, um, yeah. So let's see what other comments we have here. Uh, okay so nuts nuts is good for you do you like green yes uh, big nuts what about juice what about juice what's the name of your island what is the name of your island good a uh, good question can I have chips and curry and uh, and uh, umbrew what is umbrew man bear pig so man bear pig says with white rice on the side chips and curry uh, only brown rice man bear pig 
you should check out this guy called Raymond Day. He does like speaking to ghosts and stuff. Very interesting. He's on a documentary called Jimmy Show. Oh, so Raymond Day. You know, I've watched G uh, Limmy Show. You mean Jimmy, right? I think you mean Jimmy. I, I, I watched a few of Jimmy Show. I don't like him. I don't like it. Jimmy Show. He's kind of a... He's not my thing because Jimmy Show, he's like um, he's like the American thing. Okay, you, you, you know, I would say so. So his audience kind of like you. You need to be a white white person. You know, you you need to grow up as a white person. You you need to grow up in America. I didn't grow up in America, so I that's that's my take on the Jimmy Show. Uh. Because he's he's yeah some shows are like that you know it's it's just American culture very like not very very American culture you know uh, like he talk about anyway anyway that's that's my uh, so I don't know who is the Raymond guy. Dean Brown says, "Have you heard of Asian street meat? Asian street meat? What do you mean?" Kathy says, "I would like to know your story with Wu Fan. Finishing reading the whole manual of mathematics. Mathematica is crazy. My story with Wu Fan. I talked about this before. Um, I don't know if you were here. Well, I I, I talked about this randomly, uh, like many times. But however, there is uh, one video, Kathy. If you just go YouTube search YouTube Xali." Search YouTube Sally a new kind of science. Now I'm well, I'm not going to show it, but just search for that. In that video, that's one hour video where I talk about. Uh, it's a technical topic. I talk about the technical details of, of new kind of science. That's Stephen Wolfram's thing, uh, and Mathematica and cellular automata. You know some uh, and Turing machine. So it's a theoretical computer science, kind of thing. It's it's easy going, so it's not very uh, technical. So it's, it's fun to, but it's not about my story. With, you know, yeah, go watch that one. So I mean, uh, yeah, because that one I mentioned some of the uh, probably interesting to you. So Jamie says I'm from Scotland. Okay, S Scotland has a special ac accent, <laughs> which is hard to understand, brother. We only eat ferret meat and sometimes rat tail. That's good. Limmy comedy show. You absolute muff. I don't know what you're saying. So I get a sense that I I'm getting a army of the. I'm getting an army from some kind of a chan channel <laughs> that's flooding my YouTube stream. Is am I right? Because I don't know all of you guys. All of a sudden, uh, you know, all these all, all you guys new people. Uh, always a finished cran. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, Okay, 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 or what? Okay. Uh, what do you think of Terry Davis? Yeah, that's a frequently asked question. I get asked that all the time, and uh, in my video, I talk about that a few a few times, because Terry Davis is this guy who got schizophrenia. Oh no, you know, you you guys go watch my older videos. Like I I have a video every day for half a year now. <laughs> Many of the things I'm your I'm your type, okay. You guys came in from four chan or whatever kind of place. I kind of know you guys, okay. You are watching me. You are here because I'm kind of your type. And same thing with Terry Terry Davis. You know, he's he's the unfortunate guy who's got a um, schizophrenia, okay. There's another video I did that I, I talked about. Uh, psychology tests, personality disorders, schizoid, and also schizophrenia. I t you know when I talk about this, people you know ask me about Terry Davis again. You know <laughs> all the time. So anyway, th there's a video one hour about that on my YouTube. I think it's a main 
you know featured video you know so go watch that one so about terry davis um i you know he's 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 got schizophrenia which is which is a mental it's a actually a biological problem you see illusions you you see and hear things that's not there and that's that's something you don't want to get okay so he's got that and so he's he's talking about CIA yeah oh CIA and this that and he's a you know he's an incredible programmer so he he wrote this temple OS um, you know operating system is not my thing I don't know much about it but I've seen other people discussing it you know review it things like that uh, you know and there are YouTube videos of him so that's very interesting so, uh, and it's unfortunate uh, Terry Davis Davis uh, away and suk ya sat. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Those, 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 those are jargons and stuff. Not non speed, non tbh. Uh, forbidden, you are a nonce. I forgot what the nonce means. Now, I because I studied that that two weeks ago. One, it has a tech. Techni technical meaning in cryptography. Oh yeah, so it's a one-time generated uh, random password or string, like generated one used used only once. Use it once and throw away. That's nouns, and that the etymology of that came from English. So let's see. So let me show you guys. Let me introduce you guys the word of Xali, okay? <laughs> you guys troll. You don't know what nouns means. Let me show you properly what nouns means. What is a N O N C E? So search N O N C E. Okay, none. Now search because I wrote about this uh last week, two weeks ago. Uh, N O N C E. Uh, yeah, it's not there. I, I I don't remember where I blogged it. Let's go to my programming blog. Let's search for N O N C E. Not there. Okay. Uh, there are some other blogs I'd rather not go to my blogs that is nouns so anyway nouns means you uh you, words used once right what, what what's you guys meaning are you guys do you guys have a special meaning of that uh, so where you guys came from like is there a some some chan channel someone told you guys to come over here or what Jet Li wanna be Bruce. You try serious mass, bra. What's serious mass? Okay, Peter. I heard stuff from the bomb. Okay, uh, I'm gonna delete. Okay, so this. So Gan says, if you could choose a scripting language, which would you choose? Because you had Bash, you think Python sucks, and always left this pearl. Scripting language, uh, you, you can use Ruby. So between Ruby, Perl, Python, I would go Ruby. Okay. Uh, in fact, well, you know, scripting language they become less less meaningful these days because back then you have you have rather clear distinction between scripting language and uh, non-scripting. You know, but today, for example, GoLang, even GoLang, you can think of it as a scripting language even though it runs as fast as C you know it's it's you know because Golan I've showed you know some of my past videos there's a Golan talk you can you can just run it without compile so it's it's almost like scripting language but however it's it's the code the, the number of lines of Golan is about 1.5 to 2 times larger than Python Okay, I know it because because I've done many codes in both. Now I, I that's 
that's what I found out. It's unfortunate because I really love Golan. I wanted to to use Golan for everything, but how? Yes, but Golan. Uh, if you code Golan, the number of lines will will be one point five to two times. Probably two times is a good number to say in general than Python. Uh, <laughs> So actually, I think Ruby is a good language. But again, you know, like 10 years ago, I would say absolutely use Ruby. But now things are different again because, you know, the technology things change very fast. Change, they change, society change, you know, the industry movement direction changes. So today, today, Ruby is kind of, you know, is going, you know, it's becoming um, not much known. You know, it used to be very popular. Ruby is kind of, you know, dying out. You know, it's still used in lots of startups, but it's kind of not as popular. And Python today becomes hugely even more popular. And so there's a thing about about mainstream. So, so in in many ways, going with mainstream has a lot of advantages. So there you go. So Python, you know, although I don't like Python, so but um, because now you have a lot more tools, a lot more community, a lot more, a lot, a lot more than Ruby, especially if you are in, into uh, scientific programming and machine learning kind of stuff, you know, because they are fashionable. Python becomes so becomes so popular because Google. I talked about this before, you know, is because yeah, I have several other, uh, vi uh, video dedicated to Python. The whole hour is about Python. But anyway, Python is popular because history of Python, for example. Py py Python is more popular t today because Google. Google and, and Google's AI stuff, you know, so Python becomes the interface to Google's, Google's AI engine. That is why Python is, is so popular. Perl is dead, so don't use Perl. So, I mean, so so you could use Golan and then Python. Then, uh, and today, actually, today you see it doesn't make. It's almost the case that it does not make sense to say, to ask, you know, which is the best scripting language anymore, because, as I mentioned this many times, you know, this is my main thing. Main theme of my videos is that we are in AI age now, artificial intelligence age. Scientific growth, engineering growth, has been exponential in past ten, twenty years. So, 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 what that means is that it becomes incomprehensible to a person, to you, to me. You cannot even know what's what, what, what becomes, you know, what libraries or what's going on. You, you don't, you know, forget about. You, you think, you know, maybe you think you know. Actually, you don't know. There are like ten thousand things going on in technology you never heard of until maybe you talk to someone okay in that area that this is what's going on you think you know maybe you think oh you are following all the tech accounts on twitter you know all the stuff no you don't know there they are like 10,000 things going on you don't know you don't even you you have never heard of okay so this is the this is the reality of exponential growth now so when this is happening and you know you have these tech companies or all, all different tech companies going on you uh and uh, so today it's almost it doesn't make sense to ask you know which scripting language is the best you you can learn because that doesn't make sense anymore but rather what what is the current you know what what is the current thing you are doing like ai uh, are you working for google you know or facebook or something or are you um, there's some project you are doing, you know, it's kind of become like that. And depending on your background, what you already know, and your friends, you know, who are your friends, it's become like that. So in this area, in particular gaming community, there's this thing you learn and you just do that. You know, you so as, as, as opposed to, let's say 20 years ago, the idea of, of where you have one language that's a glue language for everything. So, you know, for example, 10 years ago, you have the Lua. Lua is supposed to be the glue language for all gaming, you know, mo things like that. You know, but today that idea is kind of going away. 
rather you just you just do what you need at the time you know you know and <laughs> and to, by tomorrow that language may be gone then you just move on that's that's how things are becoming uh So Clement says, I found your blog when you did the article about I3WM, okay, and I watched a few of your live stream. Okay, great. Yeah, that's the that's the <laughs> that's the dramatic dramatic article. Is every year, every every three year, two two or three years, it goes on Hacker News and Reddit and Chan, you know, or the Chance Chan Chan channel, and then, uh, you know. So many of you guys, I don't know you where you from, and I don't know what you, what is your question. Uh, you know, so I think that's it for today. So hope you guys have a great great day. Uh, Jet Li is Jet, Jet Li is a stupid guy. Okay, Jet Li is this. Uh, you know. I can talk about Jet Li. I can tell you, you, you like you like typically. I, I can, you know, you guys don't know nothing about Jet Li. You, you guys don't know nothing about Chinese uh, things. Like I, I, I assume you guys are, well, first of all, you guys are English speakers, and uh, you know, then I, s I assume you guys are American. Most of you, I guess. Um, oh, oh, you know, uh, UK or you know, Australia or Canada. But when it comes to other countries like China, you don't know. Uh, you don't know Jet Li except what American is saying about you know on American TV or TV show. You don't know about Jet Li. Jet Li, Jet Li, he is you know when he was like thirteen years old or something, he won the competition of wushu competition in China. Now, now I have to explain what wushu is. Like you don't know what wushu is because you think it's just kung fu. You know, you know I, that's gonna be another. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, I, I'm gonna explain for two two minutes. So two minutes, I'm gonna shut down. Okay. So wushu. Let me let me just show wushu. Okay, that's how you spell it. Wushu. Wushu is kind of a show. It's kind of a, yeah, it's a sport. Okay. It's a it's kind of a demonstrative sport that uh that came from kung fu okay came from you know so this is a typical picture of wushu you know you have this traditional beautiful chinese kung fu clothing you have um you know this kind of thing but 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 do realize it's a show it's a 100% show it has nothing it has you know it it, it it is it came from kung fu but however these wushu people has nothing to do with actual martial arts. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for watching. Uh, so, so wushu they they have nothing to do with actual fighting. Okay, there it's a show. It's a it becomes a competitive. You know, China is trying to get them into Olympics. But anyway, it's a, just a show. It's a you know show. Okay. It's a show. However, it's, it requires very great. It's because it's like acrobatics. Okay, it's it requires great, extreme agility, acrobatic skills. Uh, you know, things like that. Okay, that's what wushu is. And uh, so Jet Li, when he was, you know, he's he's trained as a wushu uh, guy. Jet Li created. Oh, Kathy played. Uh, Guan Su and Tai Chi for several months. I, it was fun. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So Kathy played, uh, Kathy uh, played uh, staff. Staff. That's a uh, that's a uh, English for uh, staff. Anyway, so Wu Su, so Jet Li, when he was like a teen, he he won the Wu Su competition, which is very hard. Okay, he won for several years. He's a champion for several years. Then he became, you know. Then he started to uh, be, uh, join a film. Okay, there's one film that made him famous. Then he becomes a movie star. Okay, that's his life story. So when it comes to actual fighting, uh, Jet Li is not the guy. Okay, I mean he's not the actual fight. You know, he's not an actual fighter. Okay, 
in fact, in recent years, you know, since about five years ago, there's a crisis in Chinese community about Chinese Kung Fu. Because today, what you think of Chinese Kung Fu, much of it is fake, you know, and it's also a money making machine, you know, all these Kung Fu masters, they teach Kung Fu, of course, they take your money, you have to pay. And you you think you are learning, you know, great Tai Chi or Kung Fu or, you know, but most of it is is not for actual fighting anymore. It's just a traditional thing. It's not good for fighting. Like any street fighter can beat your ass. So there's a crisis in China started by this, uh, there's this controversial guy in China. Anyway, that that's another story. Uh, so anyway, Wushu, Wushu is about that. Jet Li is a, so Jet Li became a movie star. And he has starred in many Chinese Kung Fu films, becomes, he's a superstar. Then he became, then he, then he, uh, you know, some of those, he became a, a star in Hollywood, you know, for some Hollywood films. But Jet Li, I don't like Jet Li, okay. First of all, he's, yeah, he's Wusu, you know, he looks good, that's great, you know, uh, that's okay. But Jet Li is the guy, he, he don't know acting at all. Many of these Kung Fu actors, they do not know acting at all. Like, when you watch them, it makes you sick. Like, it's not acting. It's like, they don't know nothing, like, zero. The worst actor possible. They All they know is, you know, just these mov movements. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you, guys. By guns, by and by Jimmy and forbidden and 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 <laughs> tell tell me where you guys came from forbidden like wh wh what channel like what of you guys Peter and uh, uh, all you guys okay bye.